angry fall, upstate residents pour into Spartanburg's Morgan Square to eat, dance, and try local breweries' newest drinks. Events like this are what brings the community together in the city, and it's just a really a fresh breath of air to like, get out here and just hang out. The breweries participating say the festival enables them to showcase their work to a new crowd. And for people like Will Lawrence, it comes at a perfect time. It's really great because we just opened our brand new brewery in downtown Inman. And uh, we literally like started selling beer last night and we were packed. So we're excited to be open today and to send people from this festival to the brewery. Brewers like Fritz Wirt, who traveled from Asheville and has dedicated 15 years to the industry, couldn't believe the enthusiasm. I think beer festivals have kind of become a, more of a thing of the past, but to see it turn out like this is just indicative of how strong craft beer still is in this day and age. So awesome to see the community come out and support something like this. Aside from beer, food trucks were cooking alongside games and live music. And after the event is over, all proceeds will go towards the Coalition for Active Youth, a nonprofit in Spartanburg that helps build and improve the area's skate and bike parks for kids. And seeing the growth of Spartanburg and the way more can be contributed to causes like that is what's promising to many of the festival goers. It's definitely a selfless, a selfless act because uh, the community of Spartanburg is really growing, especially the past like two, three years. So I, I think it's really good to be able to see uh, what all is to come in the next few years. In Spartanburg, Elise Devlin, 7 News. Festival organizers estimate between 500 and 1,000 people came out today.